Moin Moin and welcome to Ralfs Photo Boost. Yeah, today I'm uh, back in my office because I want to show you a software. Um, as you have seen in the last days, I showed you some videos of my new quadrocopter, the DJI Phantom 2 Vision. Um, I hope you enjoyed my last videos and you did some nice flights without crash. And I think you will have uh, taken some videos and pictures and what you have recognized if you have uh, seen the pictures on your um, computer, you will see the fish eye effect. All the videos have a fish eye effect because the camera, the lens of the camera is a wide angle lens. So you have the rounded horizon and um, yeah, for some of uh, you, it's okay and they like this feature because it, it's a special look of the camera but some of you may to remove these effect um, and therefore there there are different tools if you use professional programs like uh, Adobe Premiere or Final Cut Pro you have some plug-ins to remove the fisheye effect um, but these programs are very expensive and the plug-ins are also not uh, very cheap um, and some of you may use iMovie or some cheaper programs to cut your videos, but they don't have the option to remove the fish eye effect. And therefore, there's a special program that's called Prodrenaline. And with, with this program, you can remove the fish eye effect. And you also can remove the fish eye effect not only of the Vision camera, but also of the GoPro Hero cameras. You have different GoPros, uh, 2, 3 and 3 Plus. And you have for all these cameras, you have profiles in this program, Prodenaline. Um, and so you can remove the fish eye effect and can make some other effects. And that what, that's what I want to show you in my tutorial for the program or for the software Pro Adrenaline. So after you remove the micro SD card um, of the SD card slot from the Phantom 2 Vision and uh, put it in your computer, you can open the program Pro Adrenaline since a few days it's also available for um, Macintosh users. So let's open the program and this is the main window. We have different sections. We have the main picture where you can see the video. We have the timeline here in the bottom. We have the different options to remove the fisheye effect and different video FX presets and stuff like this. We have the information area here on the right side and um, unfortunately this one is in uh, this copy is in um, German so I will explain you a little bit because the the titles here the titles here are oops the titles are in German but I think it's easy to um, translate or to do it also in English. You have to move a video here in this black area or open it from a, from a, um, from a different file. Um, I will do it here and move it into the black part, uh, drag and drop. I take this video here, move it here in the per drag and drop in this area and here we are. So as you can see, we have this fish eye effect here. Um, it's, it's not straight, um, it's a little bit rounded and that's the effect you want to remove. In the bottom we have the timeline. Here you can move this red, red uh, piece to look into the video for a perfect, uh, here you see the the rounded horizon, very good, and that's the fish eye effect. Also, you can start the video to select a certain um, part of the video. Um, why, I, why I explain this with the timeline here? Um, usually, when I, when I fly with the uh, vision, I take the video the whole time. So when I start the vision, I take the video for like 15 or 20 minutes as long as the battery works 
and so I have a, a real long video which goes like uh, 15 or 20 minutes but um, I don't want to use the whole video so what I do is I make a pre-selection and um, for the for the different parts of the video I make the the special effects and I look what I have to do to make this video perfect so if I go let's go back to the beginning of the video um, here you can see the horizon and you see that the picture is a little bit it's not leveled it has a little bit rolling to the left side so the left side of the horizon is a little bit lower than the right side and that's one thing I can correct and that's what I will show you um, how this will work. First of all we have the fish eye we want to remove the fish eye and that's here in this area here we have uh, the option to remove the fish eye here we have different profiles and when we uh, press the button here you have the different profiles it starts with the GoPro Hero different GoPro Heroes 2, 3 and 3 plus and you have the different uh, resolution settings up to 4k cinema um, then we have different Canon presets we have Sony camcorder and we have the Lumix DMC T27 preset Samsung Galaxy presets and one of the last one is the preset we are looking for that's the DJI Phantom Vision and the name of the camera is FC200 and you see the horizon is almost straight you can compare it how it looks in the original you have here the button uh, original and you can compare this is original and here is the remove fisheye effect again original and removed and you have the option to compare it horizontal or vertical so let's have a look this is how it looked like horizontal here we have the no proadrenaline the original version and here we have the corrected version and I can do it also vertically that's not so amazing because the horizon is here on the top so there's no big difference between the two pictures again here it's better to see and here we have it in whole and here again the original version the next point is the horizon the horizon is a little bit it's it's not leveled and here we have different options to um, remove these effect first of all we have the zoom effect and when you when you have a close look to the difference between the original and the corrected version and have a look here on the right side of the picture you will see when we go to the original that the house here or the two houses and a part of the garden is visible when we use the corrected version the house is cut off and uh, the, a part of the left side is gone the reason why this is is very easy to explain when we go to the zoom option and we make a zoom out you will see how the filter works this is how the filter works and when you see this result you will see that this part of the picture here starts to be um, very very unclear and so that's the reason why the picture is cut out in the middle of the of the scene and um, this part here in the middle is almost perfect corrected but the part on the right and on the left side it's not perfect so that's the reason why they cut off a little bit of the center and that's the reason why you get a picture when you take the correction where left on the left side and on the right side are some parts are missing now let's go to the rolling effect um, here we have the option for rolling we have the option for leveling like this and this and I will show you how this works the first one goes like this so if you take videos of um, buildings and you have these these lines the outlines which go not straight but like this you can make a correction and you can do it with this one next one that's the same in the uh, vertical you can do it like this there we have two options in both direction 
And the next one is the rolling effect to level the horizon. Here we go and we level the horizon. And what you will see is, this is the, the, the black area here is from removing the fisheye effect. So you see if we zoom out a little bit more, you will see here the effect. So that's the reason why we have to zoom in a little bit more and look carefully here. And here you see a little bit more black. So that's the reason why we have to zoom in some more steps and now it fits perfect. We can here make a little correction again and that's it. So now the picture is perfectly corrected. Next option you can do some FX effects. You can give a little bit more color, more color, a little bit darker. And here you have different presets to make corrections or to change the picture in whole. Make it a little bit darker, brighter, night effect or like black and white effects like this. Lots of colors. So. If one of the effect is good but not good enough, like let's say this one here or this one, you have the option to go here to the clip settings. If you go to the clip settings here, you have contrast um, and three different settings, brightness, um, um, Sättigung means um, the, the intensity of the color and you have the white balance and so you have the option if you go down with this with the saturation to zero you can make a black and white picture out of this you see that's a black and white picture you can give a lit a little bit make it a little bit darker and give some more contrast and so you have a real hard black and white picture compare it to the original just press the button here and you see this is the original and this is a corrected picture so you have lots of option to change the setting of your picture go back to the original here we are i want the effect this one and so i'm satisfied with the result when you have this you will see that in the in the next parts of the video you have the horizon maybe in the other direction um, here you see this is usually straight but with a correction it goes to the to the right side down to the right side so what I would suggest is you have the markers here down there and you can move them to the part of the video which you have corrected so let's go back here we are that's the part of the video we have corrected. Here it starts and now we'll ha have a look where it ends and I would say the bus is gone so that's perfect and that's the part of the video I want to make the set it corrections here and that's it we have the option to stabilize the video but there's one problem if we have the the rolling effect and start the stabilization you will see an effect like this if you use the rolling uh, the de-rolling to to straighten up the horizon and use the um, the stabilizer the picture turns the reason is very simple you, the, the, when you take the picture the camera films this so the the, the vertical uh, vibration goes in this and the hor 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 horizontal oh, it's a difficult word goes in this and so the the, um, the 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 analyze has to turn the picture back and that's the reason why you get these black areas here if you make, uh, if you put the video out now, um, you will the result. The result video will exactly be like this with these black corners. So, if you use the anti-rolling effect to straighten up the horizon, you can't use the video stabilization together. So only if you use no video stabilization, 
you can ro use the anti-rolling effect and that's the result and now we can export the result we have here the export area we go to export then we choose an, um, an, um, or an uh, um, area where to move the video in if you if you have the if you have the mac you will wonder about the uh, structure here that's the window structure so it's a little bit difficult to find uh, the right place where you move the uh, video but um, after a while you will we will find it so okay we are finished and now we can uh, start the export and yeah it takes like one or two minutes to export this part of the video and as I said before my suggestion is not to make the whole video um, with one setting but to look for different parts and make individual settings so you have like six seven or eight uh, small clips and then you can go to Adobe Premiere or to iMovie or stuff like that and then you can cut these small parts together to a whole video I think that's much easier because you have yeah, the, the individual clips are better corrected, you have the straight, and ho the straight horizon, you have uh, some uh, color effects which fits perfect to this part of the video. In my opinion it's much easier um, to work um, like this um, because then you have a pre-selection and it's easier to cut a whole video out of the small uh, parts. Now we are ready and now we can look how the video is here is the result you see the horizon is almost straightened um, we have no fish eye effect in the video so the result is real nice the only thing is we have the the light vibration um, and um, we don't have the stabilization here you see it a little bit more it was windy on the day so you have the you have the um, you have to have the stabilization um, but I think the result is okay and you can use it for um, making a good video out of this material. If you want the stabilization, go back, set video stabilization on and now you have to reset the rolling effect. Here we are and that's the reset of the rolling effect and you can uh, export the video now again. It says override. Yes, I want to override it. And now we make the export of the stabilized video and you will see the, the difference between the first and the second video very soon. Um, what you can do, you can first stabilize the video and when you have stabilized the video, put it a second time in the program and then you can remove the rolling effect and can remove the, the, um, the uh, or you can straighten up the horizon so you can do it in two steps first the video stabilization and then remove the, um, the remove the rolling effect of the um, vision that's what you can do but these are two steps one by one you cannot do it in one step so that's the only problem you cannot do it in one step okay here we are and almost ready um, two more seconds and then we are ready and you will see the stabilized result but with the unstraightened horizon here we are that's it and you see the result it's really nice stabilized you have some a little bit uh, effects here but I think this is a real nice stabilized picture and as I said before you can you can use it to um, do it he here in the video you can do it a second time so just open it and then we have to go to here and here and here and here and here is the video put it in here we are and now you can straighten it you see you have the line here you have to uh, 
you have to remove the um, fish eye effect because in the first way you had the fish eye effect or you moved the fish eye effect so you haven't to remove it a second time and now we have we can remove the rolling effect but now the problem is we have to zoom in very very close and you will lose lots of resolution so the video is not as sharp as the original video but it's a way to remove the fisheye effect and to straighten up the horizon here we are now we can make the export and oops there was a mistake let me see uh, okay the, the 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 program is used i cannot uh, i cannot uh, do it in the the, the, the same name um, a second time so i have to use an other another um, another one here let's take this and start okay and here we are so this is the, the option to do it in two steps one step first and the second but again you will lose some of the resolution and the picture quality is not as good my my um, advice if you do it in two steps you should use for the first step the highest quality because if you use the highest quality for output um, you will you will see that the um, the um, the file is very big and the picture quality is real high so it's much better to do it first in the highest resolution and then the second one in the middle resolution um, so that's also a really good uh, option to um, get a little bit more picture quality when you do it in two steps and uh, now here we are ready and the result is hope it will work won't work okay so we have to go to the to the third and here we are oh no okay that's the wrong one sorry here we are that's the right one now you see the picture is quite good stabilized the horizon is perfect but you have a real close area which you have and the resolution you see it's not as fine as in the first video but it's good stabilized good picture quality so that's an option to do it to work in two steps to get the maximum out of your video um, here you have the option to use a noise filter so if you use, if you uh, have taken the videos at night or in low light situation you can also use a noise filter here i didn't use this one because um, um, in the post production of um, uh, the different programs like uh, adobe premiere or stuff like this there you have the option also for a noise reduction and I use usually the noise reduction of these programs. I sharpen it a little bit and so on. Yeah, so these are the main functions of the program Pro Adrenaline. Yeah, hope you enjoyed my tutorial for the software Pro Adrenaline, um, and uh, it helped you a little bit to understand how Pro Adrenaline works and which options do you have in the software. If you like the video, give me a like and uh, you can also leave your comment. And one thing I want to mention, um, usually you look at my uh, videos on my YouTube channel Ralf's Fotobude, but I have now a second YouTube channel only for the uh, quadrocopters, DJI Vision, and there will come some more stuff like tutorials how to tune the uh, quadrocopter and um, there are some more videos coming up. So I have a new YouTube channel also, that's Ralf's Fotoflug. Um, the link is on the video side here, on the, this YouTube channel here. So um, if you want to see only videos for the Phantom or for quadrocopters or multicopters, 
please go to my other YouTube channel, like it there and uh, give me a uh, like there also. Um, by now I will post the videos on both channels, um, so you can also stay here on Ralph's Photo Bude. Yeah, thank you for watching my video, um, hope you enjoyed it and uh, have some nice flights with your quadrocopter. Until now, as always, I say Moin Moin!